You've probably seen a Dunder new method in a Python class, but I am pretty sure you must have seen and even implemented the Dunder init method. In this video, we'll explore what is Dunder new and how to implement both Dunder new and Dunder init in a class. Suppose we have a class called sample and we implemented both methods within this class. Now, when we create an instance of the class, we get this output. By seeing these messages, we can say that the Dunder new method is called before the Dunder init method. But what Dunder new and Dunder init methods do? In this example, we've implemented both methods in the class. First up, let's talk about Dunder new. We can see that it creates and returns the instance of the current class, which in this case is language. Now let's turn to Dunder init and see how it complements Dunder new. Here, Dunder init is called after Dunder new and initializes the instance with the values Python and 1991. So, to summarize, Dunder new creates the instance and Dunder init initializes it with values. Both methods work together during the instantiation process of a class in Python. We can use Dunder new when we want to control the creation and customization of the instance. Here, in this example, we defined the class language that implements a singleton pattern, ensuring that only one instance of the class exists throughout the program's execution. It contains a class variable, underscore instance, initialized to none. This variable will hold the single instance of the class. The Dunder new method is implemented, and it checks if the variable underscore instance is none. If it is, then it creates an instance of the class and assigns it to underscore instance. Subsequent calls to Dunder new return the same instance stored in underscore instance, effectively ensuring that only one instance of language exists. Two objects lang underscore one and lang underscore two of the language class are created. Since the Dunder new method ensures that only one instance is created, both lang underscore one and lang underscore two will refer to the same instance of the language class. Here, we are checking if they really refer to the same instance. When we run this code, the output shows true, indicating that both lang underscore one and lang underscore two refer to the same instance. Generally, you don't need or have to implement Dunder new in a class because most of the time, Dunder in it will work for you. But if you want to take more control of instance creation and customization, you can go for it happily.